What's going on guys? I'm Zachary Gray and today we're going to be out here looking for some snakes. Now specifically what I'm going to be looking for here are tricolored snakes and there's three in the state of Florida. Should be interesting looking for them today. Snakes come in all different shapes, sizes, and colors, but some of the most beautifully colored snakes in the state are the Florida tricolors. The term tricolored snake typically refers to a snake with three different colored bands across their bodies. And here in South Florida, there are three very different species that all have this similar coloration, those being the scarlet snake, the scarlet king snake, and the eastern coral snake. On today's adventure, we'll be exploring some of the sand hill habitats that these beautiful yet rare snakes call home, and hopefully showing you what makes these snakes so incredible. This is some really, really cool habitat. I really like how this looks, because I'm thinking coral snake. I really am. I think we're gonna find a coral snake today. The weather, the habitat, the time of year that we're here. I mean, I'm feeling the coral snake vibe. Always gotta be careful when you're looking for a tricolor snake, because it's like you wanna grab a snake immediately when you find it under something. But you've gotta be careful. There can be another snake next to it, or it could be not the species that you think. So, gotta be very careful. I actually, being careful, I missed a snake early. I missed a coach whip. Uh, I flipped something over and there was a big coach whip under it, big coach whip snake. And I was like, oh, that is a beautiful snake, but I'm going to look around it first, make sure that there's no, uh, no other rattlesnakes or coral snake or whatever. And I took the time to look and by the time I was done looking, I was like, okay, I'm going to get him. He was gone. So you do lose a little bit by being careful, but it is always worth it to be careful. I've never been bit by a venomous snake and hopefully never will. So caution is very important. And I got to be cautious about these cactuses. Man, these things hurt if you step on them. I've stepped on a couple. They suck. While the scarlet snake is typically the more common of the three in Florida, this habitat is much better for scarlet king snakes and coral snakes. I'm told that you can find both species in this habitat, but that the scarlet king snake is a bit more prevalent here. While searching for snakes, I noticed a large stack of wood right off the road. This might not seem like much, but this is amazing cover for the snakes we're looking for. Now stuff like this is really good for what we're looking for because uh, creature. they got sand skinks here so I gotta keep my eyes peeled for that but this is really good scarlet kings and coral snakes love pine woods and pine logs however they will live under pretty much any kind of wood even just boards Snake hook really helps with this because uh, it could be rattlesnakes and as we're looking for, coral snake. Man, I was really feeling that was going to be a coral snake, but no dice in the main pile. After a few minutes of flipping other scattered wood pieces, we finally found the crown jewel of the Florida sand hills. <gasps> oh my goodness! Scarlet King! What? Yes! Yes! <laughs> Look at this! He is stunning! Oh my goodness. This <laughs> is a scarlet king snake. What the heck? That is a little board for him to be under too. What? Oh my god, he's strong. Wow. Well guys, this is actually my first ever Scarlet King Snake. Now as you can see, they are a beautiful tri-colored snake. Red, he's kind of got like a cream white. Look at that. It's kind of a cream white. It's not like a bright white like the milk snakes that I'm used to. And I'd have to guess that that's specifically from this area because sometimes uh, Scarlet King Snakes can actually have yellow bands or white. But this one's kind of a cream color. Depends on where you go. He's actually got a lot of black on him. Depending on where you go, they'll have more colorations of certain bandings. Now this would be a small Scarlet King Snake. Scarlet King Snakes can actually get a decent length. They can get about that big when they're full grown. And uh, this wouldn't be a newborn. This would probably be you know, maybe a two, two or three year old snake, depending on how much he's eaten. He is strong. He is very strong. It doesn't remind me of a milk snake. Milk snake, 
or at least the milk snakes I'm used to catching are normally very soft bodied. King snakes are a very strong snake species. They constrict their prey, which means they're going to grab it, wrap around it, and asphyxiate their prey, which is mostly going to consist of little rodents and uh, lizards and stuff. Now, scarlet king snakes are a pretty rare snake species throughout their range. They actually range all the way over to Louisiana, where I live, and uh, go as far north as Virginia in some cases. However, they're very, very rare in those parts of their range. Florida and uh, some parts of Alabama and Georgia are probably your best bet of seeing a snake like this. Uh, but even in their home territory, even in those places where they're still pretty plentiful, they are very difficult to come by. Wow, that is stunning. Now one thing you'll notice about the Scarlet King, he's got a little red nose. And that's my favorite thing about them. They've got a little red nose. Now you can tell these guys apart from Scarlet Snakes, which are another tri-colored snake species that live in this area, from their belly. See how the patterning kind of goes around a little bit. They've got a little bit of red on their belly. The Scarlet Snake's patterning stops completely. And of course, the nose looks different. They're built very different. But for somebody who doesn't know too much about snakes and uh, has a rough time telling them apart, a good way to tell is that belly pattern. Now, of course, these guys get confused also with venomous coral snakes. The eastern coral snake shares a pretty similar range to this snake species. And uh, obviously the old rhyme, red on yellow kill a fellow, but also the head pattern. Notice how he's got a red nose. Coral snakes typically will have an orange band around their head and a black nose, which is something you don't hear a lot of people talk about. Their banding is kind of coordinated differently, so their face looks quite different. They've got a little pointy snout, and that's made for digging through sand. These guys are sand specialists. They love piney, sandy habitat. This is some of their favorite habitat, what we're in right now. Very piney, and uh, they also love scrub oak habitat, and uh, anywhere they can really get into nice, dry, sandy soil, mostly for their egg laying, but also to hunt fence lizards, green anoles, green and brown anoles. And uh, these guys will also eat other snakes because they are a king snake species. Now, there are other king snake species in this part of Florida. There's brook slash Florida king snakes. There's eastern king snakes. Scarlet king snakes, one of the reasons these guys are so uncommon, mostly because they're going to be spending their time under debris or under pine needles and even underground. What these guys will do is they'll actually go underground during the hotter parts of the year and they'll come out evening to nighttime occasionally. Now one of the ways that you're most likely to see one of these guys out in the open and just going about your day-to-day -day life is in the road, probably on a summer night. If you're in these guys' range, they will occasionally come out at night. During rainy nights or just really, really hot nights, these guys will come out. They're a bit of a nocturnal snake, but uh, as you can see, you can find them during the day. They mostly go underground during the day though, which you know is why you're gonna be finding them under things. They're very similar to the milk snakes back home, I gotta say. Like looking at his patterning and that little red nose is the, the dead giveaway that this is a Scarlet King. But uh, the banding and the belly pattern reminds me a lot of a Louisiana milk. Now, one of the places these guys oftentimes love to live is standing pine logs. Oftentimes they live in between the bark or in burrows in pine logs. Ooh, it's okay. Notice how well behaved he is. He hasn't tried to bite me. He hasn't musked on me. They're a very mild-mannered snake, and if you ever see one of these little guys, please leave them alone. Take some pictures of them, obviously, but please just leave them be. They're a very, very sweet animal. Nothing mean about them. See that? He's perfectly relaxed, even though I'm coming and picking him up. Perfectly relaxed, non-venomous species, perfectly safe. I'm so glad we're finally getting to show you guys one of these snakes. I've wanted to show you guys a Scarlet King forever. They are a beautiful species, and uh, really cool to get to see one down in South Florida. All right, guys, well, this has been absolutely incredible getting to show you the snake. We're going to go ahead and let him go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put him on top, and he's just kind of going to work his way under on his own. So watch him. There he goes. Beautiful little candy cane. That is awesome. Well, guys, we really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to go back and watch the one we did with the coral snake a while back. That's all for today, and we will see you guys next time.